Okay, so we just got done with the uh, in-cab and air systems check. So I'm gonna begin my test at the front of the truck. I'm gonna start with my three L's, okay? Leans, leaks, and lights. So starting with my lights, I'm gonna check all of my lenses, lights, and reflectors. My headlights are clean and clear. They're secure, not damaged or missing. All of my lenses and reflectors are secure, not damaged or missing. And I've got amber color in the front and on the sides of the truck. Uh, I wanna make sure that my truck's not leaning from side to side, which could indicate uh, either tire pressure or um, maybe suspension issues. I wanna make sure there's no oil or anything dripping, no, no fluids leaking on the ground underneath my engine or transmission. All right, we're gonna get to the side of the truck here. Keep this very simple. I wanna check my oil dipstick. Make sure it's above the fill mark, adequate level. Power steering fluid. Check the dipstick, adequate level, above the fill mark. Coolant level. Sight glass, adequate level above the fill mark, or I can check my cap, look inside with the engine cooled and turned off, make sure it's at adequate level. I'm gonna check my fuel tank. First, I'll check my straps. I'll even be specific on this. I wanna make sure that my straps are securely mounted, not missing any nuts or bolts. They are not damaged or missing. My fuel tank is securely mounted, it's not twisting. Uh, and I just wanna make sure that it's not cracked, damaged, dented, and it's not leaking. My fuel cap, it's secure, tight, not leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and get my exhaust just because it's right in front of me. My exhaust system, it's securely mounted. Uh, we're not missing any nuts, bolts, clamps, none of the hardware. I wanna make sure that my clamps at these connection points right here are tight, not leaking. I would know if there's any leaks by soot trails or rust trails. And if I didn't mention it, I wanna make sure that there's no holes in this thing. Uh, I wanna get my butt to the other side. Not getting ahead of myself, I wanna check my door area. My door opens. The hinge is secure, not damaged. The seal is secure, not damaged. It closes and latches properly. I already did my mirror on my in cab inspection. My steps, my catwalk, and everywhere that I step on my truck is secure. It's not loose or damaged. And there's no stepping ha slipping hazards like oil. All right, I'm gonna tuck myself in this little area right here. I'm gonna get my four engine components. My alternator's on this side. I wanna make sure that my alternator is secure, uh, not damaged, works properly. The wires on the back of my alternator are securely fastened. They're not burnt, broken, cracked, damaged, no exposed wires. Um, I wanna get the belts because I mentioned that it's gear driven. So, or I, I, I mean uh, belt driven. And so my belts are all secure, not missing, and they're not cracked, frayed, damaged, um, uh, no loose fibers on it. And I wanna make sure that my belts are between half of an inch to three quarters of an inch of deflection, not too loose, not too tight. Now I'm gonna check my water pump. Water pump is gear driven, it's secure. It's working properly. It's not damaged, it's not leaking. I'm gonna check my air compressor pump on this side of the engine. Air compressor pump is secure, gear driven, works properly, not damaged, not leaking. My power steering pump next to it, it's secure, gear driven, works properly, not damaged, not leaking. Now I'm gonna check my suspension system that I can see right here my hangers and bushings, not damaged or missing. They're not uh, bent, broken, or cracked. Um, no missing nuts or bolts. Now I'm gonna inspect my leaf springs. <coughs> leaf springs are secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, not shifted, not missing. My U-bolts 
are secure, not, uh, not missing, cracked or damaged. My shock absorbers, secure, not damaged or leaking. Now I'm gonna inspect my steering system that I can see. Most of, mostly that I can see. I'm gonna inspect my, my steering shaft, links, sockets and joints from the steering wheel to the wheel. I wanna make sure that everything is secure, not bent, broken, cracked or damaged. Um, no missing nuts or bolts or cotter pins. I wanna make sure that my sockets and joints are not loose or worn. I also wanna be sure that I get my steering box. The steering box is secure, um, not bent, broken, cracked or damaged. It's not leaking. And it's also not missing any nuts or bolts or cotter pins. Uh, from there, I want to get my brake system air lines and fittings, uh, air hose supplies air to the brake chamber, and I'll inspect that, make sure that uh, everything is secure on both ends, um, not leaking, and the hose is not uh, cracked, damaged, no holes, it's not kinked. Um, from there, I'll go to my brake can and clamps. Brake can and clamps are uh, secure, not missing, not uh, dented or damaged not leaking. Uh, from there, I'm gonna go to my push rod and slack adjuster. They're all secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. The uh, push rod and slack adjuster will have less than one inch of pull if I pull it by hand with my brakes released. That's how I'll check my brake adjustment, less than an inch. From there, I'm gonna go to my uh, uh, brake linings and drum. I'll make sure that they're all secure and there's no oil or grease or contaminants between them and I'll make sure that my uh, drums are uh, not cracked, no holes, um, no, no, no illegal welds. Sometimes it's hard to remember if we need to say that or not anymore. Um, and make sure that my shoes or pads uh, uh, have, uh, uh, they're not worn dangerously thin and there's no damage to them. Uh, all right, from here, I can see everything again. I wanna make sure that uh, my tread depth on my steer axle is a minimum of 430 seconds on the steers. All other rear tires can be a minimum of 230 seconds. Uh, I want to make sure that my uh, tread is evenly worn and the tread and sidewalls are not cracked or damaged. I want to inspect my wheel, make sure that it's secure. It's not bent, broken, cracked or damaged. It's not dented. Um, and there's no uh, weld repairs or illegal welds, whatever you want to call it. Uh, make sure that all of my lug nuts are uh, present. None of them are missing. They're all tight, secure, not cracked or damaged. I wanna make sure that there's no cracks radiating from the lug bolt holes. Make sure that the lug bolt holes are not distorted. I would know if my lug nuts are loose by shiny threads, if we could see the threads, and uh, like rust trails. I'll inspect my uh, cap and valve stem just to make sure it's secure, not damaged, not leaking. I would check my tire pressure with a tire pressure gauge. I'll check my hub seal. I'll check the fluid adequate level through the sight glass. Make sure it's not leaking. All right, I'm gonna recap. I did my four engine components. I know I did my fluids. I did my suspension system, my steering system, my brake system. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'll go ahead and get my uh, tractor frame and cross members, okay? Frame and cross members. They're all secure, not missing any cross members. None of it's bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. No weld repairs, none of it's twisted. Uh, my drive line, drive line and U-joints, okay? The drive line and U-joints are secure. They're not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. They're not twisted. Um, the U-joints have no debris in them and they're properly greased. Oh, I already got my exhaust system. I'll go ahead and get these uh, connections while I'm here. Okay, I'll start with my electrical connection. It's secure on both ends in the locked position. 
my electrical cord. It's electrical, so I want to make sure that it's not cracked, cut. Um, I want to make sure that none of the wires are melted or burnt. Um, probably not taped up and uh, no exposed wires. I'm just trying to, anything I can think of to go wrong with an electrical wire. Um, now I'll move on to my uh, airlines. Uh, securely connected on both ends, no leaks. My glad hands are in the locked position. <laughs> they were. Okay, they're in the locked position, uh, not damaged or leaking. The rubber grommets inside are not missing, damaged or leaking. My air hoses themselves. Uh, let's remember this is our trailer sur uh, supply line, AKA emergency line. The blue one is our service brakes. Don't need to mention that, but I did anyway. So the airlines are, since we got air going through them, I wanna make sure they're not leaking. Um, they're not cracked, broken, uh, frayed or chafing. There is actually fibers in there. And um, I wanna make sure that these things aren't kinked so that air can get through it. And I, I just wanna make sure that all of my connections are up off the tractor, not rubbing. Uh, from there, I don't wanna get ahead of myself. Okay, one thing at a time. All right, I'm gonna do my rear axle now. I'm gonna start with my suspension system. These are all like items. So I'm gonna inspect my hanger, bushings, leaf spring, U-bolts, the same as on the front axle, the steer axle. I'm gonna point out that this has a torsion spring and bushing. So I wanna make sure that my bushing is intact and not damaged or missing. My spring is secure and it's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged, or shifted, or missing, just like the leaf springs. Now I'm gonna inspect my brake system, okay? My airlines and fittings, the brake can and clamps, the push rod and slack adjuster, the brake linings and the drums are all inspected the same as I did on the steer axle. I do though have a dual braking system here, and it has spring brakes in there. All right, now I'm gonna inspect my dually system here. My dually is evenly spaced all the way around. There's no debris or rocks wedged in there. My bud spacer is uh, secure, no gaps in there, and it's uh, not cracked or dented, or holes, actually, holes, holes, holes. <laughs> um, my, uh, my tread, my, keep in mind, I already mentioned my uh, tread depth earlier, so my tread, my sidewall, my wheels, my lug nuts, my cap and valve stem, I'll all inspect the same as on the steers. My hub seal, I just wanna make sure it's not leaking. All right, I'm gonna get my mud flaps. All the mud flaps on my tractor, they are secure, not damaged, not missing. My rear lights on the tractor are secure, not damaged or missing. We've got red in the rear of the tractor here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's get this coupling system out of the way. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way up. I wanna keep everything in, in line of what they're connected to. My mounting brackets. I'm gonna say my mounting brackets and my uh, base or platform. I'm gonna put those together. I wanna make sure that I'm not missing any nuts or bolts. I wanna make sure that everything is secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. I'm gonna inspect my pivot pin, make sure that it's uh, secure, it's not missing or damaged, and it's even lubricated since it pivots on there. I wanna inspect my uh, handle and make sure that it's in the locked position. I wanna inspect my fifth wheel skid plate and just make sure that it's secure. It's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. There's no gap between the fifth wheel and the trailer apron. And on that note, my trailer apron is, uh, it's all secure. Um, there's no cracks, dents, or holes in it. Um, and it's, uh, it's greased along with the skid plate. That connects to my kingpin that uh, I can't see here. So I would see that by looking through the skid plate and my kingpin is secure. It's not uh, bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. It's properly greased as well. And the locking jaws of the skid plate are firmly around the kingpin. 
All right. I want to make sure there's nothing else on my tractor that I've missed. Okay, on to my trailer. I'm gonna start right here. My trailer lighting. All of my lenses, reflectors, DOT tape. All of it's secure, not damaged or missing, and clean. We've got amber in the front and on the sides of the trailer. My trailer frame and cross members. Everything's secure. None of it's bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. No missing cross members. No uh, cracked welds. No damaged welds. My landing gear. My three section landing gear. First, I'm gonna inspect all my mounting. Make sure that everything is secure. Not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. No missing nuts or bolts or hardware. My handle is uh, secure, not damaged. Not missing any nuts or bolts or hardware. It's in the stowed or locked position. My landing gear pads or feet, uh, they are secure. They're not damaged. There's no debris in them and they're in the fully raised position. All right, our cargo box. It's secure. It's not loose. It's not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. And it latches or secures properly. It's locked. Our trailer suspension or uh, rear axle. I'm going to start with the suspension. All like items, just like before. My hangers, bushings, leaf springs, and U bolts. I'll inspect the same as the drive axles. I have a torsion arm or rod on this, as well as a bushing. The bushing is uh, secure, intact, not damaged or missing. The uh, torsion rod is uh, also secure, not bent, broken, cracked, or damaged. I'm gonna inspect my dually area here. My pretend dually area is the same as the drive axle. I'm gonna inspect my tread, sidewalls, wheels, lug nuts, cap and valve stem, wherever it is. I'll inspect the same as my drive axle. My hub seal, I'll inspect the same as my steer axle. Um, I am going to inspect my mud flaps on the trailer. They're secure, not damaged, not missing. I'm going to inspect my lights on the rear of the trailer. They're secure, not damaged or missing. We've got red in the rear and on these rear corners. Now I'm going to look everything over and see if I missed anything just to be sure. Each system at a time. Okay, now I want to mention that uh, I need to get my brake system. So I'm going to get my airlines and fittings, brake can and clamps, push rod and slack adjuster, and brake linings and drum. I'll inspect all of that the same as I did on the drives. Let's see if I missed anything else. Da, 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 da. Back on my tractor. Suspension, brakes, fifth wheel, trailer, my steer system. All right, that concludes my pre-trip.